Hello, I'm Hunter, and how do I go back to We got a lot of fan letters. But occasionally, we decide, you know what? We're going to make one lucky fan letter in the whole panel. And that fan today is Adam. Adam Taz, Dear Casey Kasem, I just started watching your channel and have gotten lots from it. No, you haven't. You've gotten videos from it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> just wondering if you've spoken about the relationship between the type which has a third slot function, which is another type's first slot function. So that'd be like, FE DOMs for me. That could be your ENFJ or your ESFJ. An example would be, well, you're going to use yourself as an example, huh? <laughs> you're always supposed to use me as an example. Example would be, I'm an ENFP and my wife is an ESFP. <laughs> Both of us need third. <laughs> That's the kind way of saying it. <laughs> also both with TI7. Both of us have had have this captivating effect from TE dominance that match up between function two, so ESTJ for her. I mean, ESTJs are enamored with her ESFP-ness, and ENTJs are enamored with your ENFP-ness. Well, let me tell you something. My real estate agent in uh, Mariposa, he's an ESFP, and he's God's gift to real estate agents. Like, he's my perfect real estate agent, for sure. Uh, he really gets shit done. I'm impressed by him. That's why ESFP and ENTP can be said to have a collegial relationship as long as they're working together on something. But if they're not working together on something, then they don't really like to hang out or something you know, like that, you know. ESFPs are, are cool, open, though. You know, like, they're open to the idea of hanging out. You know, they're not going to, just be like, no, we don't want you here. They're not snobby like that. I have seen... So, then... That would be like ESFJs. Or you would say, that would be like e, ENFJs. Being drawn to me. Or being captivated by me. I only know one such person that would be Ruben. In general, I don't think ENFJs are very captured. That'd be a benefactor beneficiary type. So like my experience as a beneficiary of the benefactor beneficiary relationship is um that you kind of respect the other type, but it depends a lot on your specifics, maybe. Like, I respected my dad, ESTJ, a lot, but I also felt like his way of understanding things was was back words a lot of time, you know? So... It's a tricky relationship, that benefactor-beneficiary relationship, no matter which direction it goes. My beneficiary type is ENFJ, which means I under-respect them, and I cannot hear them when they're, when they're trying to communicate purposefully with me I can only I can hear them fine when they're playing on my playing 
field, right, with my rules, but not not really. Uh, I mean, but I'm I'm a kind of a special case because I'm so very very wise. <laughs> seen this with her but didn't have an example for me until watching your C.S. Joseph type please episode you mentioned he was ENTJ. I do think he's probably ENTJ because he doesn't really reference. I was thinking about this. The ESTJ ENTJ conundrum with with um, C.S. Joseph. I would say he is like I've been saying he's ESTJ. But he doesn't really talk about his own past very much, does he? Except the references like, well, I had mentors. Guys, he seems very... He's so T.E. in his framing of everything. Like, every video about ISTPs has to be advice given to ISTPs. Instead of just... Like about say functions or something, right? So that would probably play out that way, whether it's ESTJ or ENTJ. But uh, um, it's hard to say because of the context, I guess, in which. And he's, he's able to limit the information we have. I can't talk to the guy. Obviously, he doesn't want to talk to me. <laughs> I'm like the last person in the world he wants to talk to. So, you know, not like I can type him. I will say that his his online test typed me correctly. So, as, as to whether he's third slot or sixth slot extroverted intuition, that's going to look kind of similar. Um, you can't really tell that apart very easily. So, well, I mean, you can tell it apart by the fact that, like, if you're dealing with ESTJ, they've got NI polar, which means they hate the idea that anything has to be, be itself and only that. <laughs> You know, ESTJs never met a spoon that they didn't want to add a fork on to as well. Like, the, the idea of, like, a Swiss Army knife is just heaven to an ESTJ. <laughs> Even though, because it's so multi tool -y, it's not the best any of those things, right? It's not the best tool to use for any of its possible purposes. It's always um, a compromise in quality because you're using this thing that's got everything from a knife to a fish scaler to a toothpick to a magnifying glass on it, you know? It's like, okay, well, obviously, yes, there's a little magnifying glass, but... I mean, it's great that you have it all in one tool, I guess, except the context in which I need to use a magnifying glass and a toothpick are very different contexts. So, uh, I guess you just want it for all purposes. I mean, I get it, it's handy to have on your if you get used to using those things, what do you really, do you, do you really scale that many fish? <laughs> you don't. You don't scale that many fish. Come on. Stop lying about how many fish you scale. Okay. So, this is my, this is my bosom. <laughs> my left bosom 
Okay, so Lol, my wife has this ESTJ friend who just grates on me. Uh oh, don't show her this video. Because <laughs> the, the cat's out of the bag now, Mr. No, oh, Eric just misread it. He, what I said was an ESTJ friend who I think is so great. I was just putting an extra S on the end of it. <laughs> but she does a T-E-S-I thing. Tell me what to do, which my wife laps up, but drives me nuts. But oddly enough, it seems that it seems the T-E-N-I has a similar effect on me. One thing I'll say is that I do appreciate the willingness for the ESTJ to state her experience preference about things if I ask. I'm just not a fan of getting it all the time. You think T E N I, you appreciate them telling you what to do because the N I, because it read, well, that makes sense because it. Validates with your fifth slot, ignoring function, which is NI, same as mine. So if you want to, if you want to get through to either of us, if you've got NI in the fifth slot, it means it's got to be holistically true. It can't just be. Um, you're never gonna get me fooled by on the grounds of forced tree foolery, like. Um, see how great this forest is by looking at these three trees? <laughs> That's never going to fool either of us. We're always going to be like, yeah, but look at the big forest, though. Anyway, um, if you want to get, if you want to convince us of something, it's got to validate like that, as well as um, with our, our tool function. So for you, it's got to be both what you want and holistically makes sense, like not missing the forest for the trees or putting the cart before the horse, right? For me, it has to be argumentationally defensible. Oh my God, that was so close to a goal. I can't believe I'm missing the soccer game to make this video. <laughs> what a dummy I am. I should be watching soccer right now. Um, Okay, so, right, yeah, well, so it, in other words, if if somebody's better than you at your third slot thing, and it validates with your NI, then you, you find it helpful, uh, which is like, I find ENFJs helpful, if they're helping me, <laughs> I find them helpful, like, Ruben's very helpful by making hilarious jokes. And uh, by being willing to put, to have the job of learn from me, <laughs> which is like, you know, Eric Eric holding court is Eric's favorite thing to do. Also, INTJs do this for me as well sometimes. I think my wife's grandma is an ISTJ, and she loves being told what to do by me. Especially when I when I'm telling her is bend over. <laughs> Cause here I'm coming with my man steel. Grandma, just <laughs> age is a number, baby. It's me, my wife, <laughs> together we're going to wreck the shit out of that butt. Okay, let me just tell you right now, Grandma. Wow, Adam, I'm surprised you shared all that with me in this email. <laughs> you should really, that's, that's oversharing of our Grandma there. Anyway, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I mean, I guess I kind of responded to it, right? Yeah, I responded to it good enough. Hey, I gotta watch soccer now. But look, I'm such a good host that I responded to your email with a video. 
wow. Now that's the kind of service that only new people get. <laughs> anyway, have a great day. Thanks for writing me an email.